In the following video, I will be showing you how to use the analog outputs of uh, DVP and uh, PLC DVP series SX2. The SX2 series has uh, two analog outputs, and we're going to use one of those out outputs to, for this test. So, first of all, let's uh, open ISP Sub. And the thing that you need to know to know is that if you want to change the the voltage outputs of channel one, you just need to modify D eleven sixteen, uh, and you can and the range for for the voltage output is zero to ten volts, and the range that of the value that you can give to to D eleven sixteen is between zero. And 2000. If you give a value of uh, 2000, the output on the output voltage on channel one, ch sorry, on, on channel zero, will be 10 volts. If you give it, give D1116 a value of, of 1000, the output voltage will be 5 volts. So it, the range is between zero and 2000. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Uh, you don't have to do any other cell setup on for for these uh, outputs. So let me show you that on on within in in with my camera. So right now I have the my PLC, and I will be connecting. Um, I will be reading the voltage voltage between a uh, AJ. That's the the common, and I'll be reading from B zero. Okay, so right now I'm reading a voltage of two point one, and let's change the value of of D eleven sixteen. So let me move this to the side, and we're going to change the the present value. And we're going to change it to 1000. That will give us uh, 5 volts. So, update. Give you, we're reading 5 volts. If you use 2000, it will give you 10 volts. And if you do 500, it will give you 2.5 volts. And that, that's all, all, you, all you need to, to do. So, you have two channels channel 0 and channel 1. Channel 0 is controlled by D1116 and channel 1 is controlled by D1117. And the ranges are between 0 and 2000. And there, there's, you don't have for this model since they already those uh, analog outputs are already built in with the PLC you don't need to do any other set setup. So now for to visualize uh, the, the the output voltage, and uh, you can connect a, an actuator or some other device that that can be controlled between zero and ten. Right now, uh, right now I don't have um, uh, an actuator with with me. So what I did, and it's optional, I did um, uh, a program for the my HMI. It's pretty much a, an actuator that a, a simulator that I did. So depending on the voltage that you send to the actuator and the voltage that that the HMI is reading from the PLC, the actuator is going to move. If you send it uh, five volts, the actuator is going to move to half halfway. If you send uh, ten volts, you're going to move all the way to the to the right. And if you send zero volt, it go, it's going to go totally uh, back inside the, the actuator. So we're going to change the value of the voltage output. And we're going to control that by using D10. So if you remember here on our program, uh, D10 is the, the, the value that we send to 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 D1116 to control the output voltage and since I want to be reading on and let me show you 
here. This voltage is a, I need a value between zero and a hundred. So in order for me to, to read that kind of a range, range of, of value, what I did, did is to divide the 1116 divided by 20. That will give you a value between one, between zero and a thousand. So right now, let me, and once again, this is optional. You don't have to, to do this, but when you're working with with actuators, let me put the camera. Okay, so when you're working with with actuators, if you send it a a, a voltage, right now I'm sending a voltage of 2.5 volts. If you change the the voltage, right now six, the actuator is going to start moving until it reaches the. Uh, whatever position it is it needs to move when you send it uh, six volts and once the the actuator gets to 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 this final destination the ready led will be on so if we, we send it push it like a quarter uh, we will move it like so it's a quarter quarter person percent out uh, it's going to go all the way to that point and then the the ready uh, LED will be on. So, so it's just uh, for for you to to visualize. So, I'm going to include this program for the PLC. I'm, I'm going to include it in the in the file with the with the H with the ISP uh, program and all all the document documentation for for this uh, test on the description below. So that that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. So if you have any question, leave the, the your question in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. If you know someone that can benefit from this kind of video, you can share uh, this video with that person. If you like this video, you can uh, hit the, the like button.